Extra bases, favorite player prop, Garion. I'm gonna just take Blake Snell to get a win. Uh, it's minus 120. If you compare that to what you'd have to pay for the Padres on the money line tonight against the Angels, it is a huge disparity. So just take Snell to win. I think they'll score some runs early off of Naughton. Uh, I think this is a laugh. Okay, Steve. I'm actually going with a same game parlay. Fancy new feature over on the DraftKings Sportsbook. You can actually get Max Freed over five and a half strikeouts and the Braves money line at minus 105. Normally you would get the Braves money line at minus 240. To get those two things together, I talked about how Freed has done so extremely well against his team in the month of August. And you like the Braves to win. They beat the Nationals 12 times already this season. Give me that same game parlay at a really very reasonable number. Mr. Meiselman, your favorite player prop on this MLB slate. Yeah, Steve mentioned he liked the over at Coors Field, and I'm kind of on the same page. I think Logan Webb, who specifically has been really, really good lately, he hasn't pitched at Coors Field, and he actually has done well in some tougher matchups, but it's a different thing pitching in Colorado. And it's not just that the ball travels further. The, the breaking pitches don't break as much there either. So his strikeout prop at five and a half might seem low because he's had games with seven, eight, nine, and even 10 strikeouts recently. But I actually don't think he gets there. The Rockies are not a high strikeout team. Um, they have a couple guys who strike out at a high rate against righties. It's really Trevor Story and maybe Garrett Hampson if he's in the lineup. But everyone else on the roster has a pretty low strikeout rate. And I think Webb, because the game is at course field, probably has a letdown from what he's done recently.